Welcome to BMC's Control M Scheduling Overview video. In this video, you will learn how to schedule folders and jobs in Control M. After you define your production flows, they can be scheduled and run under the relevant Control M server. To understand scheduling, you must first become familiar with the following Active Jobs Database, Automated and Manual Job Scheduling and control M new day. First, the active jobs database contains jobs that are scheduled on that day. When a job is ordered, a copy of the job is created in the active jobs database. You can modify and monitor active jobs in the monitoring domain. Second, jobs can be scheduled automatically or manually. control M automatically schedules jobs whose scheduling criteria you define in the scheduling tab are met. Manual job scheduling is when you order a folder or job. In the planning domain, you can order a workspace or select specific entities. You can specify your order parameters according to your needs. The Control M Online Help provides more information on ordering folders and jobs. Last, the Control M server runs the new day procedure at the same time each day. The new day can schedule all the current day's jobs. It uses a mechanism called User Daily Jobs. The User Daily Jobs are created in the Tools domain. User Daily Jobs are job processing definitions whose purpose is to order jobs. Instead of directly scheduling jobs, the new day can schedule user daily jobs, and those user daily jobs can schedule the production jobs. Let's look at an example. New day time is at 5 a.m., but 10,000 jobs are not needed until noon. Another 20,000 jobs are not needed until 3 p.m. Another 30,000 jobs are not needed until 8 p.m. Instead of all those jobs being scheduled by the new day procedure at new day time, you can schedule three user daily jobs at new day time. One user daily job which schedules the 10,000 jobs would be submitted at noon. One user daily job which schedules the 20,000 jobs would be submitted at 3 p.m. One user daily job which schedules the 30,000 jobs would be submitted at 8 p.m. Now that we have become familiar with how Control M handles scheduling processes, Let's look more closely at our scheduling options in Control M Workload Automation Client. In the planning domain, in your workspace, you can set your scheduling criteria at the job level or the folder level. If jobs run in similar schedules, you can group them into folders, such as jobs that run at the end of the year, daily jobs, or jobs that must run to produce reports for an audit. A few things to determine when scheduling a job. Where should a job run? And when should a job run? In Control M on scheduling jobs, you have several options to choose from. If you click the Schedule tab, the list of options appears. You can schedule jobs on specific dates, weekdays, and month days. Most commonly, you will want to specify some combination of months, days of the month, and days of the week. You can do this by selecting the Advanced Scheduling option. Let's assume we have a job that should be scheduled on the first day following the end of each quarter. In the Days of the Month area, select 1, and in the Order on Months area, Select January, April, July, and October. Now let's assume you have a schedule that is used by a lot of jobs. The best method would be to use a calendar. You can define calendars in the Tools domain. You can learn more about defining calendars in the online help. In this case, we have created a Workdays calendar, and now I want to schedule a job on all working days in July and August. Select Based on Calendar, and from the drop-down list, select the Month Days option. Then from the regular calendar drop-down list, select Work Days. In the Order on Months area, select July and August. However, in some cases, we might have more complex scheduling scenarios. 
For example, if you want to schedule a job on the last day of the month, selecting 31 in the month days will not work because there are months with 30 days or less. In such cases, it is best to use a rule-based calendar. Like a regular calendar, those are defined in the Tools domain. In the Scheduling tab, from the Schedule drop-down, select Use Specific Rule-Based Calendar. Then click Add and select the relevant calendar. As you can see, we have created a rule-based calendar for the last day of the month. In addition to the scheduling options from the drop-down, you can define timeframes during which jobs can be submitted, define cyclic jobs and rerun intervals, assign a confirmation calendar that is required before job submission, limit scheduling to a particular date range, and define how many days a job can await submission. For more information, you can refer to the Control-M online help. Thank you for watching this video.